Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video I'm excited to show you guys a new website, uh, Benchin.io. It's a free CAD based uh, 3D machine builder uh, that's entirely online and in the cloud. Uh, you can access it through their free website, Benchin.io and with it you can assemble and create your own uh, machines tables, workstations, robot stands or mounts, uh, pretty much anything you can imagine using extruded metals, uh, brackets, uh, there's other parts like wheels and various mounts, uh, and it's free to use. The cool thing with Vention is that as you build your machine or uh, project, it keeps a parts list along the side, uh, allowing you at the end to see the exact cost uh, of your project based on all of the parts you've used to assemble it and with a few clicks of the buttons uh, you can simply order all of your parts they're flat packed and shipped out the next day uh, straight to your building or your office uh, so you can get custom robot assemblies workstation tables uh, assembly tables kind of you name it uh, and build them in minutes yourself. So yeah, I'm super excited. I want to thank Vention uh, for reaching out and sponsoring this video for you guys, uh, as well as I'm just excited to show it to you. I've been playing around with the, uh, the online uh, software and it's super easy to use and I'm looking forward to building and ordering my own uh, work table for out in my shop. So follow along, don't forget to subscribe and let me know at the end of the video what you guys think. Cheers. All right, so like I said, I want to thank Vention.io for sponsoring this video and supporting Cat Intentions and the channel. I hope you guys will check them out and check out their website. I've really enjoyed using their uh, cloud-based machine builder, uh, as well as playing around in some of the uh, public assemblies and taking a look at their parts library. One thing Vention really uh, emphasizes is how quick and easy to use their software is. And in, and in today's video, I'm going to kind of walk you guys through uh, the layout and how to use their machine builder, uh, as well as some of the features of their website. The main feature being how easy and quickly you can go from an idea to building your assembly to then with basically a couple clicks ordering all of the parts that you've used in your assembly and having them packaged up and sent the next day uh, typically receiving them in a few business days at most um, you can see on the main page here they have a few different options you can watch their intro video uh, it kind of walks you through the steps of designing your machine uh, placing your order and then you'll receive a box with all of your parts uh, and basic instructions on how you would assemble it similar to IKEA furniture another cool feature of the Vention app and website is the ability to create uh, full automation machines uh, to do that, you can go into the Vention uh, Machine Motion and Machine App tab here. And from there, you're able to design an automated machine using their app, uh, as well as their all-in-one controller. Uh, this allows you to design the machine that you need, uh, choose from their open source app library, and then use their parts to control or automate your machine uh, almost instantly. Uh, you can order things like their machine motion controller, as well as uh, stepper motors, linear actuators, as well as many other parts from their library. We're going to jump into the uh, 3D Builder, uh, which is up on the right here. You're going to want to sign up and then create an account like I have over here. You can see I'm signed in. Once you're signed in, simply click this plus sign here to go to the 3D Designer. From here, you can name your assembly or machine. Uh, I'm just going to call it Workbench. I've already built one, which I'll show you in a second. But I'm, to begin with, I'm just going to show you how the uh, interface kind of works. 
test bench design. So you're going to fill out your name and a description for your project and you can hit next. You can choose an, a category uh, as to what you're building. Anything from a jig, uh, machining fixtures, test benches, workbenches, uh, robot stands, arms, machine frames, kind of you name it, you can build it. If you can think it up using the parts that they have included on the website, we're going to go up to the top here. And we're just going to go with workbenches. Uh, you can put in tags. Uh, I'm just going to put bench and test bench workbench, industrial workbench, something along those lines. Hit next. You can add in collaborators if you're working with a friend, a co-worker, uh, another designer. You can add in their email, uh, give them a role, whether they can just view your design or work with your design, and then hit start. This is going to bring us to their cloud-based software. And this is what's really impressive to me is just how fluid and quick this software is to use. On the left, you have all of your options with regards to the parts they stock and can supply you. And this ranges from uh, the basic frame extrusions, uh, whether it's uh, hollow pipe or the two aluminum uh, typical extrusions that they carry. Below that are the general assembly plates. You can use these to bolt your extrusions together. Various precision plates, uh, a variety of panels if you were making a bit of a booth or you wanted a back wall uh, or uh, acrylic plastic front. All kinds of different specialty plates, parts for jigs, uh, mounting plates, uh, floor anchors, gantries, ball screws, wheels, hinges. So you kind of get the point here. They have a ton of parts that you can use. So to start, I'm just going to use the structural parts uh, to kind of show you guys how the interface works. So in the workspace here, you can simply click and place your part. So I'm just going to randomly place one here. Once you've placed your part, you can simply click on it to bring up the options menu here. Uh, from there, you can use move and rotate. You can uh, resize your extrusion, making it longer or shorter, basically cutting it to a specific length. You can. The other neat feature is that you can see these uh, prices here go up and down with each part. So you can see how expensive your table or bench or machine is going to be before you actually order it and maybe make some choices depending on the price if that's a factor for you. So I'm just going to throw a few parts here together and I will switch. then I will switch over to a bench that I've already started working on. Uh, so let's add in, so you can just hit escape to cancel a part. I'm going to add in uh, a plate here. So you can see it kind of will snap to where you it thinks you might want it. You can use the arrows, the left and right arrows, to go through a variety of mounting options. And you just keep hitting it until you kind of get to where you want it to go. So let's say I want to put a plate right there. And maybe I want to attach a leg or another extrusion to this bar that I've got and plate. So over here, we're going to select another extrusion. And it snaps to the end point automatically of the part you're placing. So you're going to want to place it using the end part point as where you would probably put it. So I'm going to go to the bottom side of that uh, extrusion and just click. And you can see it's assembled it roughly where you would uh, place that part. The parts snap in uh, really smoothly, uh, especially once you get the hang of it. Uh, once you get the hang of moving around with the uh, mouse wheel and using the right mouse button to pan, uh, it's a really fluid interface and should be familiar for most people that have used other 3D modelers or uh, assembly software before. So as I mentioned about the pricing for each part on the left hand side here, on the top right you can see a few uh, running tallies as you build your project. You can see the total checkout price as well as the approximate assembly time based on what you've uh, included as well as the overall shipping weight. 
One thing that I've really liked about this software are the uh, amount of options that are built into a web interface. Uh, you typically don't get this kind of control with a free CAD software and is as light of a build as this one. Uh, uh, one thing I noticed too is that you can go into these settings down along the bottom here. And on top of being able to measure objects down along the bottom, take a thumbnail screenshot, um, uh, explode your project. Uh, in this settings box, you can also adjust how your uh, bench or project is displayed. Uh, you can change it up from orthographic or perspective. I kind of like the uh, perspective view a little better, but that's just me. You can also change a few other display settings. Uh, one that I liked is parts annotation. Uh, I like to put the dimension on it so you can see pretty quickly the size of your bench and whether or not you need to adjust it uh, on the fly. Overall, my experience building my little test bench uh, was really fun and didn't take too long at all. So right now I'm going to quickly switch over to the bench I built earlier. Uh, this took less than probably 15 minutes of kind of playing around, learning how to uh, connect parts. I've added in some plates, I've added in uh, some feet or like floor, floor mounts. You can see I've got a typical uh, kind of workbench here with one cross brace on the front. So the reason I only have uh, one little cross brace here uh, is because I was going to show you guys how quick and easy it is to add another one to your existing project. And then after that, I'll show you where to find the parts list of everything that's available, as well as how you can see other assemblies that have already been built uh, by other users. So to add in another extrusion, we're just simply going to click it here. You can see it can snap over to our vertical. You can select it and resize the extrusion. And you can bring it over here. It's going to tie into our other vertical. And then if you want, you can add more plates. It's going to figure out most of the time uh, the ideal location and what you're trying to do. You can see that was simply two clicks. I didn't do anything else. It automatically rotated it and put it in that location. The software also makes it really easy to add pieces like a custom top to my bench. Uh, you can use this for uh, grates, for trays, uh, you could use it for acrylic, for a guard. Uh, in this case, I'm going to add a plastic top and to do that, I'm going to select uh, using control to select multiple pieces and I'm going to select the frame or area that I'm going to insert the panel or tabletop. Then I'm just going to right click and say create panel. This will create a custom sized panel to fit your top. Uh, you can choose between the different materials available. Uh, I think I'm going to use a black HDPE panel and I'm going to position it on the outside. So the upper side, I'm going to create my panel. It might take a couple seconds. You can see along the bottom here, it's working. And there we go. It's placed my panel on the top of my workbench. It's also added it to the checkout price here. Uh, also in the top right, like I mentioned before, you can get the assembly time approximately as well as the weight of your package. Uh, when you're ready to check out, uh, you can take a quick snapshot or thumbnail of your assembly. This will help you uh, see what you've got and will also show up in your cart. So we're just gonna take a quick picture, save it, and now we can hit checkout. You can see my thumbnail over here. Uh, it also allows you to open it back up in 3D. Uh, you can see the total cost of all the parts I've added up, as well as a full bill of materials, including how many of each part, uh, as well as the size and unit price. Once you're ready to continue, you can simply hit next step to enter your shipping and delivery information, uh, proceed to the payment and review your order before submitting it. Typically parts are packaged and shipped out the next day uh, with you receiving it in anywhere from one to three business days, depending on location and the day you order. Uh, if you're not interested in creating your own, you can also view the public assemblies that are available. From the public assemblies, you can look through and see if somebody's already designed something that you would simply like to order the parts to build yourself. 
Uh, you can search along the top, you can use different filters and just see if there's something out there that uh, interests you and instantly see how much it would cost to get the parts uh, shipped to you. And then the next uh, part I'm going to show you guys is the parts library. In here you can scroll through uh, their 300 parts that are available and see what could be useful for you. Maybe you just need to order a few single parts to build something simple. Uh, you can go through here, add them to your cart, uh, change up lengths for extrusions, uh, order a handful of plates, uh, anything like that. So that's it for today's video. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed kind of this quick demo of Vention and their uh, 3D machine builder software. Um, as I mentioned before, it's completely free to use. There's no license, there's no install or subscription. You simply go to Vention.io create an account and you can start playing around with their uh, machine builder and assembly uh, software. I've had a lot of fun and I get creative and test things out. It doesn't matter if you have uh, a ton of experience in 3D assembly or modeling. Uh, I feel like even the basic CAD users can get the hang of their software and start building right away. I think they've got a great idea. I love to support uh, new startups, especially in the CAD industry. Uh, it's an even bigger benefit that they're from Canada, uh, where I'm also from, and I'm super excited. And I'm really glad they reached out to sponsor this video. So I want to say thanks again to Vention, and I hope you guys will all check them out. Uh, try their builder, uh, make something, order something, and assemble it. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the video, what you guys would like to see next. If you'd like me to do a more in-depth uh, tutorial for Vention, uh, let me know. I can do that as well. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Cheers, and have a good one. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here. Make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.